All right, nothing's blinking. Okay, cool. All right. Hey everybody, welcome back to Quick Tips. It's your pal Wes, and today we're gonna be taking a look at some complex oscillator sounds, but we're not gonna use any oscillators. Instead, we're gonna use self-resonating filters. Now, this trick can be done with any filter that self-resonates and any other filter that self-resonates, but the one we're gonna use today is the SVFs by Super Synthesis. Um, this one has a couple of features that make it really, really good at this kind of modulation. Let's uh, take the resonance all the way up here, and we see we got a beautiful sine wave right there. Um, if we listen to this, it's, uh, it's a very nice sine wave. Sounds good. Um, and if we take these other outputs from the high pass and the band pass, we'll notice that... Um, the outputs are 90 degrees out of phase with one another, which is really helpful for doing some feedback stuff like we're going to do in a moment here, as well as uh, some cool panning and stereo stuff. You're not going to mess up your uh, phase there. So let's take a look real quick. Turn this down at uh, what we can do with just a single filter and some feedback. Um, so this left CV input is a volt per octave input, it tracks perfectly, and this right one is a bipolar attenuverter. So it can apply negative or positive voltage depending on which way you turn it. Um, if we take this bandpass output and go into the bipolar attenuverter here and start to apply positive voltage, we can actually turn our very beautiful sine wave into a more sawtooth wave with a little bit of character there. Absolutely beautiful. And then if we monitor the high pass output here, we'll notice that it is the reverse, a ramp wave. So that is also very fun. Let's take a listen there. So pretty awesome, very usable palette of sounds we get there, but luckily this filter gives us two identical filter banks. So we can actually crank the resonance on the other one here and then apply an external sine wave to this guy to get some really crazy sounds, some complex oscillator sounds if I do say so myself. Let's take a listen. We can even use that first trick and use the bandpass output of the second filter bank to create a uh, saw wave that we can use to modulate our sine wave here for some even cooler tones. 